not even being transparent enough to the people that you operate or you answer well, to don't even know? Okay. How am I making an assumption? Because I haven't had the chance to talk with Dan and understand what he knows. I could prove it to know. you. I understand. I could absolutely prove it to you. I get it. I, I don't know. What to, I'm not making an assumption. I'm telling you it's, it's verifiable proof. He made a public statement saying that you guys do not use realtor websites at all. Zero real estate websites at all to find permitting violations, yet you are doing it. That That is an issue. You don't see that as an issue? I don't. I mean, I understand that your paycheck is important to you. Chad, don't. don't. But I would think that the way that you operate in this community should matter as well. It does. That's why we continue to who? Make changes to the ordinances. I'm coming to you to and I'm telling you I have an issue. And I'm, and I'm telling you that if the people have so an issue, will you change it? And you told me no, if the commissioners say it, then you'll do it. Right. Let me, let me meet with them and talk with them about it and see what their challenges are. I, I think the issue is that because you don't see a problem in it, that you morally don't have issues with going after neighbors and then anonymously reporting okay. it. Do you understand that if you're pitting if you're pitting neighbors to do you understand that do you understand that if you are getting neighbors against each other you are not making a better community so when you say when you say hey uh, your neighbor turned you in your your compliance officers specifically say your neighbor turned you in it was a neighbor that turned you in they're they're lying not always are you okay if they've done it one time they're lying about it period. You're lying about it. If you're lying about it, you're lying to the public. Who do you think should be held responsible? The head of the department? I'm assuming you know that Lee lies to people about this stuff, correct? I don't know that. How do you not know it? He, he's underneath you. You're supposed to be in charge of the department, so you're claiming ignorance? So are you surprised by me telling you this? Because you don't seem surprised. Chad. We find out violations in lots of different ways. Let's talk about we, this one specifically then. We investigate. Listen, you're not going to sidestep me, ways. okay? You're not going to sidestep what I'm saying. I suggest you answer it straight up or tell me you're done answering questions. I, I'm telling you that Lee, you Lee, Lee is submitting anonymous reports, okay? Saying it's a neighbor. He's lying to the community. He works for the community. He answers to the community. Do you feel like that's someone that you should employ? Yes. You do. I need to someone that's lying to the community. Some, let me research this stuff a little bit further before you make assumptions. I'm not making assumptions. Let me, let me I'm telling you, you part. guys have been caught. It's been recorded. It's not caught, dude. How's it not caught? Because 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 you guys are operating in a certain caught. way that the public the, the public has not operate. been aware of, and then now they're nothing being nothing wrong with the way that we operate. According to you. As, as, I've just, as I've just said to you, I'm not here by myself under just I my opinion. I know this not. is a public opinion shared by hundreds of people in this yeah. area and thousands of people throughout the country. Yeah. You're well aware of it. You know I what know. I'm talking about. Yep, I do. So why are you digging your heels in and saying we're good to go? When it's, when it's pretty simple, you just say, you what, know what? what Let's change our policies. I'm happy to change Let me tell policies. you. Let me I'm tell you what I would happy like. To okay? change it. I'm already working Let on me it. tell you what As I would like speak. then. As a community, the issue is if my neighbor has a problem with me, that's when you guys should step in. When my neighbor says, hey, he built over his, his, his uh, setback, here's the proof. Guys, here's the proof. Then you come out. Then we all talk because I did something wrong at that point. Okay? When you try to prevent crimes or prevent things before they take place and interject, you're not serving your community. You're serving yourselves. If you waited for a neighbor to complain, then it's an issue. That's where you guys step in. That is your job. Going out and looking for it just causes you guys a huge headache. Yeah. It's a huge headache. It's a waste of tax, tax I don't money. think that's what the code says. I think the code says that anybody, including the department, can turn in a violation. And so maybe that needs to be revisited. Uh, what I'm you asking, what I'm asking you though, is like, why can't Lee just be content with why his job? I and can't. when he's called out to go and find an issue, he finds an issue. So Chad, the, the police do know, the same thing. The rest they, of the services do like. Fire truck doesn't go out looking for fires. They wait for it, and then they go serve the people. The police doesn't go out kicking doors looking for violations. You, you they see. wait for them to come, and then they go out and serve the people. You yeah. guys, this looks like you are just trying to create more and more work to justify more and more jobs, which is a tax burden on the people. Yeah, I get what you're do you have kids in this community? I do. I have a kid that's under a year. I would love for him to be able to live in Idaho. This is where we're from. This is where we're from. So to see our government taxing us out 
to see all the regulations getting put in place, the more and more regulations, do you think he's going to be able to come into this community? Regulations than most of the you guys tried to create more regulations on your new proposal of the RVs. You took, you took 120 days, and now you turned it into must have a pad, must have water and power hookups. So what we're doing is we're changing it to be, per, if, it, if it's going to be a permanent location, then what we're actually doing is increasing the number of living spaces that are allowed on a piece of property. So let me ask. So let me ask you. Determine how much. Um, how many living spaces we're allowed to have on our property density. Like the the, the the issue is is for one you're you're trying to do it in a blanket manner. You're trying to say because you know we live out on acres. Yep. Versus people who don't. So when you say okay, you guys can't put this in in city limits or whatever. It's understandable that someone wouldn't want five trailers on their property, right? But if I've got 100 acres, how is it any of your business? And why do we try to right. do it in one big blanket, one size fits all? That's why we're working on these sub area committees. So That's why, but why are we going after community and neighbors and trying to put them in a jail cell and trying to take their money instead of working with it? I'm not. I, I'm getting letters left and right. Chad, and I, I'm telling you, it's escalating. It, it, it's escalating because we haven't had a conversation about it. And if we could, you and I could have a conversation about it, I think we could resolve it. But you've talked to everybody else, but you haven't talked to me. I haven't talked to everyone else. I haven't talked to our commissioners. Right. I went straight to people, neighbors, and friends because that's who you guys represent, the neighbors. And when I went to my neighbors and I talked to them and they took issue with it too, and it was a neighbor who brought this issue to me and had me bring it out to light. I, I didn't even I didn't even talk to anyone about my issue publicly. It was Adrian's issue of them coming out there, and then Lee comes out there and lies through the entire time, and she finds out afterwards that he was lying completely. And you guys come out to look at some pipe that happens to be state regulations and not even your guys's jurisdiction, and somehow she's still out eighty five bucks for an inspection. Do you, do you see the issue with that? It looks a lot like extortion. No one gave her her money back. And she wasn't she in violation. Her, she was. Well, what was she, she in violation she removed, of? She was. She put up that building with. with she was allegedly inside. in violation. You guys did not find a violation, correct? She removed it all. She removed the plumbing. So you didn't find a she, violation. She, no, she told me that she removed the plumbing after she got notice that it was a violation. That's what she, she told me. How did you know that she had a violation? Because they went on Realtor.com and looked at her her stuff. So we research properties in all different ways. I mean, we're going to use all the researching. Mean what? Going after? No, no researching. Seeing if it, seeing if the complaint is. The, but the issue. But it wasn't a complaint. The, no That's complaint. the thing. Is she lives so remote that a neighbor didn't complain? It's not a complaint. It's you guys policing for profit. That's what you're doing. The issue is, is it's not a problem. It has nothing to do with profit. It has to do with the process. There's a process in all of this stuff, and you follow the process, and you're fine. And the process is that there's a complaint. Is there a Who process in this country about privacy? People. There isn't. There, there isn't a process. There's, what is What is your a, name? It's a right. I'm Jeff Conley. Chad. I'm Bar County Commissioner. My issue is that there's federal process in this country where we're allowed to be secure in our property. So when we use drones, when we use satellites, to look into someone's property because you guys can't physically see into the property. You don't see a problem with that. And this is more of just a moral issue on top of rights. If you guys are saying, we just don't see an issue with being able to spy on your property. So I then I feel like these leaders are the wrong leaders. You're confusing a lot of federal and state. And you guys, and you, you can't make law that, that, dic or that contradicts federal law. That's correct. So well, let's just strip it back to the federal law we get state pri private property. We get private property rights. Those aren't private property rights that are conditional on whether or not you guys want to look into it or not. Private property rights are private property rights. If you can't see in my property, you stay out of my property. Until a neighbor says, hey, there's a violation, allows you onto his property to take a picture of that violation. So do you feel like when you moved to Bonner County, and I don't know when that was, but um, the you know, you have some responsibility to follow the rules of Bonner County because, I mean, Bonner County... We're, are we talking codes or laws? Because I absolutely agree with the laws. However, I never once negotiated my rights away to any of you guys. 
well, nobody said you did, but it, well, any, then why any, would I? Well, then why would I come in and adhere to a law or a rule or a code that violates my rights? Anybody, anybody in the state of Idaho would tell you that there's a certain amount of rules that have been made by planning departments and and there's code and there's all this other right. stuff. And some of it's state, some of it's even federal that we pass through to try to regulate what's going on on the land. Whether it's wetlands what, or- What do you mean regulate on the land? We're talking private land versus wetlands, which trust is a federal dude. issue most hey, of the time. Trust me, but there's we, we, the three commissioners, are very much into private property rights. Okay, but if, if you guys are, rights. then you should be agreeing with everything that I'm saying well, because do I'm doing I'm do doing nothing but sticking up for private but, property but rights. Again, let's back up to what I started to say before you interrupted me, which is that when you moved here, you must have realized. Did you research the rules that were in place what, when you moved? You say rules, that's your and you're saying you're saying codes, right? And what well, I'm no, what I'm all, telling all, you all rules. What I'm I'm not going to okay. Listen. I'm not gonna, take it down to just code or just planning and zoning or anything else or our ordinances. That's your responsibility. You chose to move here. I was born in America, afforded rights that the state cannot violate. I agree with that. Do you understand that concept? No, I don't think we are. I know we aren't actually. Really? Okay. So then what is the issue on my private property that it's affecting you so much? Like I say, when you came to here and when you... You're, you're just beating around it. I'm not, I'm not in here to do a bunch of dancing with you guys. Not one bit. He wanted to answer my questions and talk to me. That's what I'm here to do. You don't seem to be part of the process right now. Chad. I'm talking so to you, this guy. you want me to leave? I can no, leave. I'm not asking you to leave, but don't turn this into a dance. I'm not in a circular conversation. Okay. Chad, so... But his, I'm, I'm basically asking you guys, do you have an issue with it? You, you made the statement, and I would love for you to be able to clarify if you really feel that way, but you said you would love to be able to use drones. On private property such as mine and his, 